Hello guys, I'm Tom Antos and uh, in this video I wanted to show you different accessories that I got uh, uh, to kind of upgrade my gimbal. This, these are gonna work with any gimbal. Uh, actually one of the accessories isn't even for a gimbal, but I'm just using it there for that. Uh, and uh, and like I said, any gimbal, but specifically I would say if you have those kind of one-handed uh, uh, grip kind of uh, gimbals. So uh, anyways, check out this video for all the little cool things that I've added. So the gimbal that I'm still using, my favorite go-to gimbal is Moza Air 2. Uh, and like I said, you can these accessories will work with it because that's what I'm using it with. But I'd, I also got a few accessories up, up here that will work with a bunch of other gimbals. So there's a few different things that I got. But uh, basically, the main one is this bracket here. It's this L bracket. It's from Digital Photo. I reviewed a couple of their products before, like these uh, clamps or, or uh, adapter brackets for... DJ Ronin and Crane 2 gimbals and things like that allow you to take the, the weight off your hands. And I'm actually using a part of that accessory here. That's this strap here. Um, and then I also got another thing, which is this little clamp, uh, which is uh, this clamp is used. Well, you can use it to attach monitors, cameras, anything basically that has a quarter 20 because it comes with a quarter 20 here. You see this magic arm that's very, very sturdy. And you can quickly loosen it, and if you want, you can tighten it again, and again, it will not move on you. So this uh, magic arm comes with this uh, bracket, uh, with this clamp, uh, and this clamp, yeah, like I said, you, you, you can use it for a lot of different things. And I'm still using the Moza Air 2 gimbal, as you can see. Here I have the Nikon Z6, uh, great new camera uh, that I got. And uh, and it's especially really good if you pair it with uh, like an Atomos recorder. I don't have the 5-inch one, which... I might end up getting because it's much smaller and lighter. Now this one still works, just you know a bit more bulky, but it gives you the the ten bit recording uh, off of this camera. So uh, I, I think if you're gonna get the Z6, definitely get uh, like a like a good external recorder. But anyways, this is what I'm using on my gimbal, and uh, you know especially with uh, maybe, maybe not this camera, but if I'm using let's say like Blackmagic camera, uh, like the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 4K camera. Or even if I'm using this with the big external monitor and all that stuff, then uh, the gimbal, and it, this doesn't matter whether it's this gimbal or, or, or any other kind of gimbal, uh, you, it, it's going to be hard for you to kind of to carry all of the stuff. So that's where having some of these accessories is going to be really helpful. So the accessory here that I got uh, is another little accessory got from Digital Photo. I got a review a bunch of their product lately, and uh, some better than others, but overall, like they're all very well made. And so I decided to give this a try. This is the Digital Photo L bracket. It's an L bracket for use with single handle uh, gimbals, because it's going to work with all gimbals. So it doesn't have to be the Moza Air 2. Uh, and then, it, you know, it's, yeah, it's listening DJI Zion, Feiyotech, Moza, etc. Uh, but basically, what this gives you is it uh, gives you a few accessories. And if, but the most important thing is it gives you this handle up here that's very sturdy. And I mean, when I say sturdy, I mean, like, look at the, you know, this gimbal itself is, is a little heavier, uh, but I can lift this up no problem, and as you can see, it stays solid here. So it doesn't uh, doesn't twist off or anything like that. So the handle itself is very sturdy and allows you to attach also a lot of accessories to it. And that's another accessory that I got um, also from Digital Photo, uh, which is this one here, this clamp. Uh, and this is not really designed for gimbals, that's what I'm using up here, I'll explain in a second. Uh, but basically it's like a like a camera clamp uh, when you buy the L arm You're getting a bunch of things so getting this little pouch you get an Allen key um, You get a quarter 20 little screw that you can kind of attach you get a cold shoe mount uh, That you can use to slide in your your microphones and things like that And that's when I got it. It was actually mounted to where I have this arm you can see up here so there was in that place, so this would allow you to put, uh, let's say, like a microphone on there. Uh, so the microphone's not on top of the camera and not taking up, I guess, extra weight. So that's what you get. And then you also get actually this little magic arm, which uh, I got previously with uh, their clamp, their uh, uh, gimbal clamp that allows you to, like, especially the one for the DJI Ronin S, great clamp. And I kind of used it on the Moza Air 2, but it didn't fit up here, so I had to put it kind of in the way of my trigger button. And I took off that clamp because it was it was a little annoying after a while to get to the trigger button, but also whenever I wanted to change out the batteries, 
I had to undo all those screws and you know, take out the clamp. So now I took it out and that's why I'm using this one here. Uh, but anyways, that, they give you the, another little this kind of attachment. It's like a short little, you can see magic arm. It uh, has quarter 20 on both sides and you can use it to attach different accessories, a monitor, things like that. So anyways, I'm going to put it all back here in this pouch. So this is my rig right now. It, it can get a little heavy, especially if I'm using it with uh, the Atomos uh, Ninja Inferno monitor slash recorder. So it's definitely on the heavier side, but it still makes it uh, workable when you have this extra handle because then I'm basically running around like this. So I have one arm on this handle here, this L bracket, the one on the, on the gimbal itself. And I can, as you can see, take my arm off if I need to adjust something, you know, things like that. Or if I want to take the left arm and change something on the monitor or or actually another cool thing I like is when I'm running around with this, I can have both of my hands here on the gimbal and then here uh, I can still with my thumb, I can reach the uh, focus wheel here on the Moza Air 2. And this will be the same thing on the DJI Ronin and, and most other of those gimbals that have that wheel. Um, so that's great. Now, this bracket that they uh, also produce, I put up here. And the reason is because, I mean, it's, it's like this, it's a clamp, actually, I shouldn't say bracket. It, this is a clamp that is designed for, basically, what we, it allows you to clamp this to anything, right? I clamped it to my gimbal, but you can clamp it to a table. You can clamp it to, to like I said, anything. You have even, you know, maybe some grip equipment. You can clamp this on there. And then it gives you a whole bunch of quarter, 20, and three-eighths of an inch threads all over here. So you can attach different things. And this clamp when you buy it you actually get it with this arm which right now I attach here to this to this L bracket and this arm is nice and strong so kind of takes you know you put anything you want it has quarter 20 on both ends and then once you want to tighten it just turn this over and it will stay and this thing is it is very sturdy and what I mean by that is even when I put the uh, Atomos Ninja Inferno monitor with my small rig cage on there and a big uh, Sony NPF style battery or two, uh, which adds definitely then to a lot of, you know, to the weight, this thing still stays sturdy and does not move. So it allows me to run around easily for a, fu for a full day, basically, uh, and still get my shots and everything. So that's a nice thing. Uh, it's just a, just a solidly built uh, arm. So I love these. I know there's a few manufacturers making similar ones like this now that have these ball joints with a, this kind of a rubber thread around it. Uh, and this is just one of those companies that I like the fact that when you buy this uh, clamp, you get this for basically included with it. Um, it's a great little accessory. And yeah, and, and uh, like I said, I took off the, the little bracket that I had up here, which was from Digital Photo, but it was actually meant for uh, like the DJI Ronin S. I took it off and uh, because, like I said, it was it was working here, but it was annoying when I wanted to ch change out the batteries. I had to unscrew the, the two screws and also reaching the trigger was hard. I did order, however, another clamp from another company uh, and I'm waiting to get it that was designed specifically for Mozart 2. So when that comes, I'll, I'll do a quick video to show you guys. And that clamp is basically it allows you to do the same thing. It has a little ring that attaches on top of this. And then a handle you can put on in the back and, you know, you can attach one of these straps. So this is the one from Digital Photo, the strap, like I told you, from the DJ Ronin clamp. But in this case, I'm using uh, this sort of a monitor clamp and I just attach it here. And I don't have to tighten it hard. I probably, if I did, then I might even you know, like break the gimbal there. But I just tighten it a little bit and this allows me actually to, again, now have a sturdy connection and I can, when I want to rest, I, I, you know, I put this basically over like this. I can shoot, shoot with the gimbal when I want to rest, I can just let it kind of hang off my neck. Uh, so that's really, really come in handy. And yeah, it's a heavier setup now, uh, not so much because of the camera, but, you know, the camera itself is, is a it's decent, you know, normal size, but with this monitor, it definitely is heavier. But I think with this little accessory or a bunch of these accessories, it makes it workable. Now, why do I like this L bracket? There's obviously a lot of L brackets on the market. It's because, well, first of all, it's $39 only. Uh, the same thing actually for this clamp. But it is very sturdily made. It's the only bracket I've seen that's made basically fully out of metal. So here's my original tripod, right, legs. 
that come with the with the Moza Air uh, two, and then here on the top, oh, I need that tool right now because I really tightened it. But this basically metal part that actually comes with the with the L bracket. So this is really sturdy. This is what allows me to attach. Like I said, this tripod stays there, but you can see how long and kind of massive the screw is. And that also goes through here through the bottom of the L bracket. And the L bracket also has rubber padding there on the uh, on on the upper surface where, where it makes contact with the bottom of your gimbal. So, like I said, any single-handed gimbal these days, they they all come with a little tripod. You just basically attach it there to the bottom, and then now you attach that, you know, but you can, you kind of you sandwich the bracket in between your tripod and the and the gimbal, and it's and it works beautifully. Now you don't have to have the tripod; you could just put this if that's what you want. But this way, I still have my tripod, and I can still, like I said, I can still use it with the, uh, you know, with the gimbal, so that in case I need to rest it, or or if I just want to use it again as an extended handle, then I can do that. So, here, as you can see, I can tighten this. Ah, oh, okay, and just hand tighten it, and it's not going anywhere. As you can see, it's nice and sturdy. It doesn't, it doesn't feel flimsy. It doesn't go like bending or kind of wobbly. You know, it doesn't get wobbly at all. A great cheap accessory for any single-handed uh, gimbal these days. Stuff I've even attached a little accessory. This is from Small Rig, 50 millimeter rods, and this was also comes in handy when, for example, I have another monitor that's attached on on uh, on a 50 millimeter rod, and I have this kind of a you know cool uh, basically system where it allows me to you know to tilt it and things like that. Or even if you had any other accessory that you attach. Maybe a wireless video system or things like that. I, because it's quarter twenty, I can attach it on this handle here, here on the bottom, on the sides, you know, here on the on the back too, on various places. So allows you a lot of attachment points, right? So that so yeah, if you guys are uh, want to looking to pimp out your <laughs> your gimbals these days, then these are some of the accessories you might want to look at. So the clamp is not so much for gimbals; that's more for attaching. Yeah, for attaching basically a monitor or any other accessories together with this magic arm anywhere you want to attach it to. You can even use this to attach a camera somewhere. So that's where this is handy. 39 bucks for the L bracket, 39 bucks for this with the magic arm. And there you go, you're all pimped out. <laughs> so anyways, if you guys are interested, check the info in the, in the description of the video. And that's it for this video. If you guys liked it, let me know in the comment section below. If there are any other accessories or things like that that you guys found, that are interesting, uh, then let me know. Like, provide links in the description uh, of the YouTube video. Sometimes, well, if, if you can, message me on my website and then maybe I can even do a video about these accessories because I know sometimes it's not up to me, but YouTube takes down a lot of these comments, like filters comments, whenever people leave comments with links in it. And I know some people are getting upset, like, oh, Tom, you're removing comments. I'm not. Like, I, I have, you know, a, a few hundred videos on my YouTube channel. There's no way I'm going to be going and checking every video every comment that it gets every day and which co comments were basically removed it just i would go insane and I, basically i wouldn't I, I don't even think i would have enough time in a day to do that so uh, youtube just does it automatically when it detects something it thinks is a spam like somebody spamming some you know links or things like that so a lot of times it will take those links down but if you guys want try to post a link to something some cool accessories that you guys found uh, whether it's for gimbals cameras or things like that so we can all share but if you can't do it in the comments uh, here on the video on, on the YouTube videos, then uh, just go to my website tomantosfilms.com uh, and drop me a comment there on my post, and then just let me know that way, okay? And then this way you can communicate or s drop me a message. You can also go to the contact page on my website, send me an email through that, and then let me know, Tom, I found this cool accessory. Can we review it or or I just you know I I'm using it. It's great. Can you share it with other filmmakers? So. I, uh, I'll either provide the links in an upcoming post or I'll get my hands on the product and I'll review it. Anyways, that's it. Um, and once again, I'm Tom Antos and uh, my website is what? TomAntosFilms.com <laughs> And I'll see you guys there. Bye!